I know we heard that black, uh, all lives matter, and so we encourage you to refer that back to black lives matter, because while all lives matter, this is a, this is a dangerous, very thin line between intersectionality and co-opting. So I don't want to explain that while all lives matter, to, to, to put that in close conjunction with black lives matter is very dangerous, because it takes away from the fact that black lives matter, because all lives are being killed every 28 hours, if not less. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Funny how hand positions change over time when saying those lines becomes less of a pledge of allegiance, more of proof to the officers that you are actually a citizen when they arrive on scene August 28, 1955, Money, Mississippi. A little boy with a cannon for a heart is ejected from the barrel of a bridge. Bullets made confetti out of his face. They even tied an elephant-shaped cotton gin to his torso to sink him to the bottom. He had an entire circus act in the bottom of the river, but no one clapped when he emerged dead. I guess death wasn't a part of the act. Emmett Till was not a victim. He was a magician. Changed the course of an entire civil rights movement, and all he had to do was snap. His neck, February 4th, 1999. Amadou Diallo put his money where his gun was. Shot down on his front porch for holding a pistol-shaped wallet. They thought he had a weapon. He quite literally didn't have a shot to the gate from 41 on his front porch. He only caught 19 bullets. He was 22. Two times two is four. He was shot down by four officers who fired a little over 40 shots on the 4th of February at 12.44 a.m. the Fourth Amendment states. No illegal searches, no seizures. He was not a victim. He was one seizure away from setting procedure. November 25th, 2006, Queens, New York. They rang Sean's bell, the kind of bell that rings, the kind of ring you wear to a wedding, the kind of wedding he was on his way to. He's got a gun and fired 50 shots into the car, killing Sean and wounding the other two passengers. One of the officers even stopped to reload the way an artist stops in the middle of painting to admire his work. He fired 31 pastels into the car. Sean Bell was not a victim. He was a canvas, and all he had to do to earn his spot on history's wall forever was be shot to death October 3rd, 2009. Victor Steen, a 17-year-old black boy riding a rocket ship down an empty street, was ordered to turn his wings in and pull over to the side of the road. Officer, you don't understand. See, that man in the moon? Yeah, that's my dad. But he may never come back if I don't make it to him tonight. He was just trying to reach for the stars. The taser tied an astro knot in his throat. The officer even drove over his body before removing the taser metal from his torso. There is no metaphor for that. It just hurts. The last thing he felt was the weight of the car's wheels on his chest. No wonder he was out of breath. He was just tired. August 5th, 2014, Beaver Creek, Ohio. A toy soldier by the name of John Crawford was relieved from duty in the action figure section of Walmart. He walked around the way many PTSD patients do when relieved from battle, gripping his weapon tighter than his grip on reality. He awaited orders from his commanding officer of a mother on the phone that day. Sir, welcome to Walmart. How may I help you? Hold your position, sir. Could you stop waving your weapon like that? Hold your position, sir. I'm calling the police. Hold your position. Put down the weapon. Hold your bag. Whoever says you have the right to bear arms was lying and he was a tiger. Let loose on a jungle full of poachers that day. A mother lost her son. A father lost his junior. The way a fraction loses its better half when multiplied correctly. There were multiple shell casings at the scene. None of which belonged to the BB gun. John Crawford was not a victim. He was a war hero with a gold star on his straight jacket. September 10th, 2014. Saratoga Springs, Utah. Police received a call of suspicious behavior and almost immediately went on a Darien hunt. A young black male in a 93% white community wielding a samurai sword, it is believed that once the sword is drawn, it must taste blood even if it is from the owner's body. They say he lunged at them, which means that he is the fastest assassin who ever lived because all six shots from police were in his back. The media keeps calling this an altercation. I don't understand what it's spelling execution like that. I've never heard slaughter pronounced that way. Since the 18th, 2014, a Houdini by the name of Charles Smith was found in Savannah, Georgia. Police locked him in a cage, shaped like a police car. He took this 
as a test of his magician's skill, it's not his fault. As black men, we tend to have an unearthly desire to escape. He was still learning new tricks. See, what he meant to do was reappear outside the car, uncuffed instead. He accidentally made a gun appear in his possession. Good thing the police are used to magic tricks. It was nothing for them to make his life disappear. January 24th, 2004, Brooklyn, New York. Timothy Stansbury, January 1st, 2009, Oakland, California. Oscar Grant, January 29th, 2010, Portland, Oregon. Aaron Campbell, March 7th, 2012, New Orleans, Louisiana. Wendell Allen, March 13th, 2014. Lord, Oklahoma, Daniel Martin, August 9th, 2014, Ferguson, Missouri, Michael Brown, August 12th, 2014, Los Angeles, California, Ezel Ford, September 23rd, 2014, New Orleans, Louisiana, Cameron Tillman, October 8th, 2014, St. Louis, Missouri, Von Derrick Myers, November 2nd, 2014, Akron, Ohio, Raphael Thomas, November 9th, 2014, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Aura Ross, November 22nd, 2014, Cleveland, Ohio, Tamir Rice, March 19th, 2015, Cleveland, Ohio, Brandon Jones, March 24th, 2015, Cobb County, Georgia, Nicholas Thomas, what hurts the most about this is that half of those people were alive when I wrote this, I apologize. If I have trouble pledging allegiance to a flag that has been determined to do us part, I leave our black bodies dangling at the altar with liberty and justice for all.